Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move files and folders on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I'm going to go through a few very common ways on how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's say you have a file on your desktop here. Let's say you want to move it to your Documents or Downloads folder perhaps. If you want to open up the folder that you want to move it to, so let's say you open up File Explorer, or you could search for it, just anywhere on your computer, you maybe have a folder on your desktop, just open it up. And the first thing in the easiest way is just to drag and drop the file or folder just by holding down the left mouse pointer and just dragging it over to whatever folder you want to drop the file or folder into. You notice I still have pressure on my mouse cursor at this time. And you can see there's a little text box that appears that says move to. So you can see wherever you're about to drop it, it's going to move it to that folder. So once you're satisfied with wherever it's going to be placed, you can just release pressure on your mouse cursor and it'll be dropped. You may notice it might have a file already in the existing destination, in which case you could replace the file. You could also skip the file. You maybe already have the file in the folder and just not aware of that. And you can also compare the information about both files as well. So just as an additional step, one to kind of give you guys an example of what happens if there's already a file or folder with the same name in the target destination. So just one thing to consider there. And that's typically the easiest way to copy and paste or move and drag and drop any file or folder. Another thing you can do is also right click on the file and you can select the trash can or delete option. If you're on Windows 10 or older version of Windows, you can select these show more options here and it'll actually spell it out a little bit clearer in this list. So you can cut the file, meaning that once you paste it into a new destination, it'll delete the original destination. You can also copy the file, meaning there'll be a copy wherever you copied it from, as well as where you're going to paste it. So now there'll be two versions of the file. And you can also delete the file as well, if you chose to do so. But let's just say we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it or just move it to a new location. So we're going to get rid of the old one once we're done with it. So I just right clicked on the file that we want to move and I'm going to select show more options here and you can select cut and then the new destination you want to move it to you just could right click in a blank area and you would select show more options and you can select paste. However, if you want to use the new Windows 11 version of copy and paste, you can just right click on the file and then you notice there's other icons here at the top. So if you highlight over them, you'll see what they're called. So if you want to cut the file, you can just select the little scissor icon. And then in the new destination, you would right click and then select the little clipboard icon to paste. So again, it's something else you could try here as well. And if you right clicked on it, you can see the different shortcut keys as well if you tapped on your keyboard. So if you want to tap the Control X key when you're highlighting this file, you can tap Control X. And then in the new destination, you can tap Control V to paste. You can also do Control C to copy, so if you tap Control C on the original file, and then Control V in the destination. This is a third way that we are highlighting in this tutorial of how to go about copying and pasting, not including the two different options you had through this context menu. Some people would consider this option up here at the top of the little visual icons is the same as selecting Show More Options and then selecting this. They're basically one and the same, they're just kind of combining two different UI elements into the same feature there. But pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to do that. And there are other ways through PowerShell and the command prompt window. I don't really want to get too advanced with this tutorial. It's a pretty basic tutorial. I just want to show a few of the most common ways on how to move files and folders around on your computer. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.